Fire claimed the lives of two family members when a mother tried to rescue her sleeping daughter. The flames broke out around 4.30 this morning in Gaffney, and News 13's Evan Donovan spent the day, and he joins us with more. Evan. Evelyn Rodriguez managed to wake up her 12-year-old son, Carlos, during the fire, and he escaped. But Evelyn couldn't get to her 11-year-old daughter, Lynette, before both passed out from the smoke. And perhaps the most tragic part is that officials say with proper precautions, their deaths may have been prevented. Around 4.30 this morning in Gaffney, residents of this home on Cherokee Avenue awoke to a massive house fire. I get up and look out the window, and I see the house across the street on fire. And it's going up in smoke, flames were just blazing, smoke going everywhere. Cherokee County officials say that a family of five lived in the home. As the fire spread, the coroner says 43-year-old Evelyn Rodriguez woke her son Carlos from the sofa, and as he escaped, he woke his two grandparents. But when Evelyn tried to rescue her daughter Lynette from the front bedroom, neither ever returned. I think that would be any parent's instinct to go back and, and get your child. And that's exactly what this mom was doing. I would. I mean, for every one of mine. And I got five kids. David Blackwell's daughter was a fifth grader at Mary Bramlett with Lynette. So they came by the house to spread a makeshift memorial to honor the family. Despite the presence of heaters like this one, officials say they don't believe they were the cause of the fire. But they did make a discovery they say could have made a difference. There were no smoke alarms in this residence. And I would like to encourage everyone to get a smoke alarm. Well, the grandparents and the 12-year-old son are doing okay with only minor injuries. Cherokee County Coroner also reminds us that the time is about to change, which is when he says is a good reminder to check those batteries in your smoke alarms.